Man, when it comes to a woman's sexual arousal, you have to understand this one concept. Every woman has accelerators and brakes, like a car. When you accelerate without removing the brakes, guess what happens? Zero. Nada. Nothing. Now, when you release the brakes, but you don't accelerate, guess what happens? Nothing, bro. Zero motion again. So you have to accelerate while removing the brakes, bro. And I'm going to explain, obviously, what accelerators are and what the brakes are and how you can remove the brakes and actually accelerate at the same time so that you have crazy sex. Attraction. So don't worry, bro, I got you. And in terms of sexual attraction with women, you must remove the brakes first and only then can you accelerate. If you start accelerating while the brakes are still on, she's going to put her guard up and you're going to enter a frame battle and you don't want to enter that. So I always recommend remove the brakes first and then accelerate with women. And that was also my biggest mistake. I often accelerated while the brakes were still on and it created a lot of frame battle. It created a lot of headaches. For me. What are those brakes and what are the accelerators in the world? As a reminder, women have four primary desires, right? Safety, connection, adventure, fantasies. Safety and connection, those are the brakes. So you have to make her feel safe emotionally and physically and you have to start building an emotional connection with her. Once you've done that, that's when you start removing the brakes. Once those brakes are removed, that's when you can accelerate, right? That's when you can trigger her fantasies and her adventurous nature. Yes, bro, I'm going to show you now exactly what you need to do in order to remove the brakes and start accelerating so that she is crazily attracted. When it comes to sexual attraction, bro, sexual attraction means there is tension in the conversation. If there's no tension in the conversation, it is a conversation that leads to the friend zone. And you don't want to be in the fucking friend zone because that's when you're going to get ghosted or like you're going to get taken advantage. So how do you build sexual tension in a conversation and on a date? We've got two tools, bro. Verbal and nonverbal. I'm going to start with the nonverbal first and then I'm going to explain the verbal game that will help you to create crazy sexual so first of all the nonverbals. one of the most underrated nonverbal tools to build crazy sexual attraction and tension is eye contact your eyes are the window to your soul and they can create crazy tension bro if you cannot hold eye contact no matter how good your outer game is no matter how fucking handsome you are how many apps you have and how much money you have if you cannot hold eye contact it means you are insecure and that means you're fucked because women fucking hate men who are insecure. When I was in my nice guy era, bro, I could not hold eye contact. When I started cold approaching, I looked at a girl and I said, hey, and when she said, hey, I, I looked up. Or in conversations with like very confident men or also girls, I like always looked around, had fidgety eyes. And that fucking ruined any good game I had. I mean, to be fair, when I was a nice guy, I didn't even have good games, so I was fucked over all it. Because when you can't hold eye contact, as I said, you're perceived as insecure. And the issue is on dates, I sometimes broke eye contact because I thought, or I was conditioned by my grandma and society that holding eye contact is rude but it's not bro if you cannot hold eye contact and if you break eye contact too early i mean obviously i'm not saying that you should be a creep but if you break eye contact too early or always before her it comes across as super insecure man and that means you're needy it's just how women perceive you in that moment if you're a dude who cannot hold eye contact man it's gonna hold you back massively so learn how to hold eye contact my rule of thumb is never break eye contact first and try to hold eye contact for like between one to three seconds a quick exercise that i teach my clients who are struggling with holding eye contact or even cold approach is just go out and about and then like hold eye contact with any stranger that passes by and you can even say hi good morning or how are you it doesn't matter how they react it's all about you holding eye contact with them with a smile smile otherwise you're going to come across creepy obviously but it's all about you being able to hold that tension you know and train your subconscious and your nervous system that you're going to be all right if you hold eye contact nothing's going to happen now the second nonverbal tool is physical touch which is not really a big secret i think all of you guys know that physical touch is important however timing matters way more than the action itself and that's what i got so wrong at the beginning generally physical touch is very powerful but also very intimidating for some girls but it's one of the most powerful tools to build sexual tension right so i'm a touchy person generally because i was raised in a household that was very cold and as a as a let's say in order to compensate that i want to give more touch i want to give more love more warmth to the world however in dating that helped me back massive why if you look back at accelerators and brakes physical touch means acceleration but because i was doing physical touch very early on in the date i hadn't built the trust or comfort yet which means the brakes were still on which meant the girl felt a bit insecure and uncomfortable around me and if a girl doesn't feel uncomfortable around you there's nothing what you can do like if a, if a girl is uncomfortable around you you're so you have to build that comfort first generally 
strongly I advise you to use physical touch strategically. Bro. At the beginning of the date, I always want to establish the frame that this is not going to be a boring date, that this is going to be an unconventional date. The frame is we're going to have fun. And that's why I use physical touch immediately once. When you meet her for the first time, bro, what I advise you to do is do this. Just as you approach each other, reach out and pretend to say hello with a handshake. And once she also reaches out with her hand to give you a handshake, you pull your hand away, you look at her and you're like, oh, you're silly. And then you hug her. This builds a crazy good frame because first of all, you show her it's not going to be boring. Second, you get a feel of how intense the hug is. If she tenses up or if she like feels uncomfortable giving you the hug, that means she will be very shy at the beginning of the day. So you have to build more confidence and more trust. If she's super comfortable with the hug, that signals to me, okay, she's cool with me. She already has a certain baseline of comfort and trust around me, which means I could start with the physical touch a bit earlier on than I would with a girl that is a bit more shy. However, after that hug, because that hug will create an emotional spike in her, I would advise to take things a little bit slower and stop touching her until you're at the venue even at the venue take your time with the physical touch right i would not do any physical touch until the small talk period has been passed and then the emotional connection has been established so rule of thumb except for the hug at the beginning don't use physical touch until you have built more trust comfort and emotional connection so the breaks have been released the third non-verbal is posture bro how much space do you take up on the date bro do you want to be seen or do you want to go into hiding if you're comfortable and nervous on the date she will pick that up and your posture will reveal that often you will have slouchy shoulders you will look down and you will not be super confident and you will not interact with other people and you will subconsciously reveal to anyone who's looking at you that you don't want to be seen so if you walk with your head down if you're like almost walking a little bit behind her and if she's always leading the way if she's holding the door open if she's deciding where to sit and you just follow her like a little dog with like a poor posture this in itself is destroying your sexual tension or attraction because you're just a dog to her you're just a little puppy to her who cannot step up to her in that moment it signals that you're chasing her it signals that you're too insecure to lead her it signals to her that you're not in your masculine energy and that is a massive problem what i see with a lot of nice guys in their early 20s and also the nice guys who've been conditioned to live like that in their 40s they don't lead in the relationship and when they start dating again because the first relationship or the married got fucked up because they were a little bitch in the relationship they do not lead with verbal games and they do not lead with non-verbal day. And that is a massive fuck up for sexual stop being afraid to lead on a date um, first of all when you enter the venue for instance don't sit opposite each other sit next to each other that removes this awkward feeling of a physical barrier between you help her out of her jacket hold the door open bro and also decide where you actually sit yeah which table which venue etc etc own who the fuck you are bro want to be seen interact with people and i'm going to share with you in the verbal part of which i'm going to start explaining now how you can make sure that not only your physical presence is seen but also your social presence is heard so when it comes to verbal game verbal is one of the best ways to create sexual tension bro most guys think it's physical touch it's not bro if you do not use verbal game to build sexual tension and you rely only on physical it means that you're going from zero to 60 miles per hour instead of slowly building it up right it's like it's a sudden spike rather than a slow non-linear growth upwards an upward trending attraction so if you really want to have rock solid amazing game you want to build from you go from 0 to 20 from 20 to 40 and from 40 to 60 miles per hour right so remove the brakes so that you can start accelerating and then you slowly gradually accelerate and do that with topics bro physical touch often i always say is like between from 40 to 60 miles per hour from 0 to 20 and 20 to 40 all verbal game bro so how do you go from 0 to 20 first of all you have to release the brakes as a reminder releasing the brakes means you have to build comfort and trust and in order to build comfort and trust guess what you have to do you have to do small talk bro and i hate small talk i know it fucking sucks actually if you're good at small talk you stand out immediately and the dates where i skipped the small talk and went straight to like deep talk bro i faced so much resistance the girls were not open to it and nothing happened bro because i didn't build comfort and trust they don't know me yet for, uh, properly so why should they share their deepest secrets with me i might be like a straight that's a psychopath. I'm not. 
maybe a bit, but they don't know it yet. So they are like more reserved. And if you skip small talk, bro, it shows that you actually do not have the social skills. You do not understand social etiquette. First 20, 30 minutes to go from zero to 20 miles per hour, use small talk. That will help you release the brakes and start slowly accelerate. So for the first 20 minutes, stick with topics like what are your hobbies? What kind of work do you do? What kind of person is she? As I said, that will remove the brakes. Now over time, when you start answering her questions, I want you to go beyond the obvious. Stop being the logical guy who just responds question in front of it because that will keep you stuck between zero and 20 miles per hour so when she asks you what did you do yesterday and you respond with oh yeah i went to the gym and then i had coffee and then i did my work and then i didn't have blah blah <sighs> fuck you man like i want to my pussy is dry as fuck man so instead of saying like oh yeah i went to the gym and blah 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 and you just list facts after facts and then her pussy is completely dry you just say this yeah yesterday i went to the gym i had this crazy experience i had like i crushed two pbs and then i met like one of my friends that were like oh blah blah blah, blah. you see i bring in way more passion there's way more energy which is a sign of aliveness and women are suckers for men who feel alive this kind of passion this kind of storytelling this kind of emotion and energy helps you go from 20 to 40 because this will start triggering her sense of adventure and fantasies because if you're a guy who like create that kind of emotional spike in her just through your words she's going to start wondering wow if the, he can do that with his words what else can you do now that you've gone from 0 to 20 and 20 to 40 we also don't want to stay stuck at 40 and we also don't want her to think that you are like just another simp right so in order to go from 40 to 60 and beyond we need to sprinkle in a few things that I call let's say teasers flirts and also disqualifiers now you can't do that at the beginning because you cannot disqualify a woman that is not attracted to you so if you start disqualifying a girl whose brakes are still on the brakes will remain there and there's no acceleration because she's gonna feel like yeah I'm not attracted to you I don't give a shit if you don't like me or not but because we're already at level 40 and we have removed the brakes we're already accelerating we can start disqualifying so the disqualifier can be a competitive tease for instance so a good competitive tease could be you love cats but well, looks like you're gonna be my future ex-wife so why does this work because you imply that she likes you because she used to be your wife but it didn't work out because of her it's a very nice disqualifier a nice little tea stick for eight emotional spikes now if you want to create a deeper connection with her while you're going to 60 and 100 miles per hour while you continue accelerating you can also sprinkle in some questions like what's been the craziest adventure you've been on what's been your craziest travel story because you've built trust and comfort at the beginning and you start to disqualifying her where she also wants to sort of impress you with those questions she will try to tell her phrases and adventures in order to impress you and show her that she's cool that she's a different girl that she's a perfect fit for you now that you've done the teasing we've got the disqualifiers you also want to sprinkle in flirtation statements which is the fourth primary desire which is charm so a good flirt would be like you sound like a crazy troublemaker but maybe I like Troublemaker. Why is this a great flirt? First of all, you label her in a specific way and Troublemaker is also, always creates an emotional spike because women deep down, they want to be Troublemaker, but they don't want to admit it. So that's part number one of the flirt. Part number two is you say that you might like Troublemaker. So maybe language stays mysterious. And most importantly, you don't sound that you like her. You imply that you like her, but you don't say it. And flirting is all about being subtle because you said, I might like Troublemaker. You didn't say, I might like you, which makes it it more mysterious it keeps her guessing if you actually like her specifically the last part about verbal is your intonation oh you're such a troublemaker versus you look really like a troublemaker so guess which one is more attractive first one you sound like a fucking soy boy a little bitch that she can't respect who doesn't have any balls because you're so high pitched the other one deeper voice which is signal of high testosterone and big balls if you struggle to attract high quality relationships or high quality women bro click the link in description to apply to work with me and i can help you attract your dream dating life peace and love Ciao, ciao.